In this video, I'm going to show you how to add doors to any bookcase. So let's go. All right, so the first step to add doors to any bookcase is to figure out how big your doors need to be. I'm not going to include my door dimensions because most likely your doors are going to be completely different. Uh, so there's no need for me to include that in this video. But what you need to do is grab your tape measure, measure how wide your bookcase is from the inside and how tall the spacing is also from the inside. Most bookcases you buy out of Walmart, Target, Ikea are made out of melamine. So to make these doors, I'm going to be using the same material, 3 quarter inch melamine. And the melamine from the store comes dinged up on the edges, so I just cut a small sliver off the edge to give me a nice clean cut. I also use blue painter's tape to eliminate or reduce the amount of tear out or chip out I'll get. Now I'm going to be using a track saw to make all of my cuts to complete these doors. No table saw, no nothing else. You can get the same results using a circular saw with a straight edge. Just make sure you have a fine tooth blade in there. Okay, so I think I was pushing this all a little bit too quick because you can see we got some tear outs from chip out uh, but it's not much so should be okay. So Craig makes really good jigs to help you set up your cabinet hinges. I 100% recommend you get one of these. I'll put a link down below in the description. It has instructions so it's pretty easy to figure out. I will also leave a link to anything that I used in this video including the doorknobs and the hinges themselves so that way you can find anything you need to complete a project like this. Now, I know what you're thinking, the side of the doors look ugly, and you're right, they do, because they're plain. I wanted to test the fit on my doors first before adding the edge banding, that way if they're too tight or too big, I could trim them down and not have to worry about re-edge banding again.
Oh, before I forget, I did add a small block on the top left corner of the shelf. That's just to stop the door from it going too far into the bookcase. Now to find the location of my doorknobs, I just measured 2 inches from the top and 2 inches from the left and that's where I put my doorknobs. After installing these doorknobs, this project was done. This is really an inexpensive way to add doors to any bookcase that you already have instead of going out and buying another one. So if you found any part of this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button. If you didn't find it helpful, also hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video.